This Advent, we're exploring the three theological virtues, gifts we receive from God at baptism that help us grow closer to God and live a virtuous life. We conclude with the third theological virtue, charity. Charity is the theological virtue by which we love God above all things for his own sake, in our neighbors as ourselves for the love of God. Charity is love, the greatest form of love that is found between God and his creation and which drives humanity to love each other. To love one another is to honor the dignity of each person as a child of God. St. Paul teaches us that charity is what unites all virtues in harmony. Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love that is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were all called in one body, and be thankful. In loving one another, honoring each person as made in the image and likeness of God, and recognizing that we have been loved and forgiven by God, and must extend the same love and forgiveness to each other, we fulfill God's commandments and live a virtuous life of charity. As we draw near to the anniversary of our Lord's birth on Christmas Day, we reflect on the theological virtues and their practice in our lives. This draws us ever closer to God and directs our hearts and minds to Christ's second coming at the end of time. When we are in right relationship with God and live our lives in faith, hope, and charity, we can find peace, even amongst the chaos and busyness of earthly life. Take time this week to reflect on the love of God as demonstrated in the sacrifice of His Son and the reciprocal love so often demonstrated in the lives of the saints. Think of the great love of God in the faithful actions of St. Francis of Assisi, in the hopefulness of St. Catherine of Siena, and in the charity of St. Teresa of Calcutta. Ask yourself, where have I demonstrated God's love for me in the world? Have I loved those who I find difficult to love? Have I forgiven others as I have been forgiven? How can I live a life of virtue? The theological virtues are a gift from God, but they are a gift that must be nurtured through prayer, reception of the sacraments, and spending time with the Lord in adoration and worship. We nurture our virtues and grow in faith, hope, and charity. This Christmas, may the gift of Jesus be opened in our hearts, and may we seek to know him in faith, to be reunited with him in eternal love, and to love Jesus by loving each other, seeing Jesus in each person we meet as we live a virtuous life. St. Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, says of the theological virtue, So faith, hope, and love remain, these three, but the greatest of these is love. And we wish you a blessed Advent and a Merry Christmas.